We also welcome other dignitaries with flowers. Shri Mohan, 
the date and the turning point of the Goa and the turning of the history of the policy systems. Thank you very much. Jai Bharat. Thank you, sir. Next presidential address, Sri Bhubesh Babu, Chairman IACC. Respected His Excellency. Respected Minister, I am not taking everybody's name because uh, my president has already taken everybody's name and welcomed them. And the chairman of uh, different uh, commissions here and uh, award winners, office bearers of Goa unit. And uh, my colleagues Atakoya Padlikandi, Kunyamuka, and so many others. We have decided to organize this function uh, because, like in Kerala, in Goa also there are so many NRIs mainly working in Middle East. So, what we were thinking is that you know, we have okay, Operations we have, as Mr. Atakoya told you, we have uh, more than 40 kids presence all over because we have units in all over the Middle East countries and uh, Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Kerala, all the parts. So we have been helping the NRAs in Middle East when they were facing problems in Iran, Iraq war, Kuwait invasion and even the small incidents you know because I am also settled in Bombay for last almost five decades and um, I have I have I have been very fortunate to help the people who, who are coming from Middle East countries due to various problems and we could also help the people who are going who are who are planning to go to Middle East because earlier days you know it was not directly from Kerala they have to come to Mumbai and approach an agency then go to the any countries in Middle East. I am not mentioning all the occasions or problems whatever we have faced there were around 150 care lights taken by the agent put in a go down like place accommodation in four level spots you know and uh, three months they were not allowed to go outside and uh, somebody put a small slip outside and this was in a very Malayali populated area a Malayali got the slip he called me we went to the police station we went to this place with the police station and uh, nobody was able to tell you what, what was happening actually but uh, few people came forward because everybody was thinking that you know when I talk anything against the agent, I will not be able to go to Gulf. So that time it was a big dream to go to Gulf, you know. And uh, we have uh, removed all the people to a dormitory and uh, agent uh, ran away. With great difficulty, you know, we could get little, little money for those people. They have gone back to Kerala. Like that, I can tell you hundreds of incidents. But now it is not like that. Now we are working for the welfare of NRIs, mainly in Middle East. We are also helping them to establish business 
in their hometown uh, whatever small small assistance they need with the help of orca and uh, other organizations we are guiding them but as far as goa is concerned our honorable minister has offered all the facilities here said what we can do is that you know i said just uh, as a matter of um, reciprocation we can conduct a program in dubai or ab dhabi and also invite all those people to goa and uh, anybody wants to start hotels resorts or any industries we can make our officials to talk to them so that you know they can put whatever because many places where our people are they are not able to establish any industries there especially in kerala it is very difficult to establish an industry so we will pursue our friends in gulf countries to come to goa initially we will contact a small you know get together there and invite all the people to go so as long as you know his excellency is there they are also comfortable you know so i not be you know talking much you will be definitely acting on behalf of the people of goa the activities of indoor arab conferences on already known to you so i did not you know explain much about um, um, the activities of uh, indoor arab confederation i again wish his excellency somebody told me that you know he is going to be awarded a doctorate so from tomorrow you know he will be known as his excellency dr sridharan pillai no no already got it i am not so we wish you all the best wish you best of luck and congratulations thank you very much thank you sir now i request shri dilan anand to felicitate shri Shri Sadanand Sheikh Tanawde, the Economic Development Corporate Corporation Commissioner, with Punara. Sir, please. Sunil Vijayan to felicitate NRI Commissioner Advocate Narendra K. Savaikar with Punara. Face this sir. Can you face this sir? Excuse me. Please face the set. Excuse me. Sir, uh, we would like to hear a few words from you. Excellency, the Governor of Goa, with P.S. Sir Sridharan Pillai Ji, Honorable Minister Shamoon Budinoji, 
Alex Dignal, Chairman of IDC Corporation. Chairman of IDC Corporation, Sri Sadhanan Shet Tanavde. All the other dignitaries on the days of the days, my dear friends. Well, uh, at the outset, let me congratulate the uh, Indo Arab Confederation Council for uh, opening our branch in Goa. And as well as uh, for the last 40 years, you have been conducting various kinds of activities supporting those who are settled in Middle East. As a commissioner of NRIFS, may many a times we come across such situations wherein, as you are aware, many Goans, many Goans who are settled in Middle East, they come, they, uh, they come across various difficulties. So the job of NRI Commission in Goa is basically to help them out as well as to assist them in the difficult situations. One of the worst kind of situations that we have all of, all of us have come across was the COVID. And during COVID times, I am sure that the your confederation on one hand, as well as the commissions like NRI in Goa and other parts of the country also, have extended their help to all those who have been affected during the COVID times. Well, friends, uh, the Honorable Minister, as the Chairman of the Council has uh, suggested, he made a statement over here that our Honorable Minister Shri Movin Budino, as well as the Chairman of the IDC Com 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 uh, Corporation, both of them, they have um, agreed, assured all their support because you want to invest. I have been told that there are some difficulties that crop up in Kerala as a result of which you are not able to invest. But Goa is a beautiful state and uh, those small but we are beautiful, people are beautiful, people are hospitable. So therefore I am quite confident with your cooperation and the kind of extra help that you want to extend to Goa, it will definitely help us in supporting the economy as well as the other kinds of activities in Goa. Well, today is also the death anniversary of Mr. Manohar Parrikar, the former Raksha Mantri and uh, Chief Minister of Goa. Mr. Manohar Parrikar was instrumental because there are many people, there are many seamen from Goa who are in fact working abroad. And Goa is the only state in the country wherein the seamen after the retirement age are being paid a uh, pension though a small amount of 2500. This is not the case in other part of the country but Goa is the only state wherein this kind of a facility is being extended and about uh, the help and the help has been extended to the seamen who are settled abroad to those who are in fact working in other parts of the world. So therefore with these few words I would like to congratulate the confederation as well as all the members of the confederation for having shown an initiative to open up your chapter as well I wish you all the best in all, all your activities throughout. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now I request Sri Rajesh SM to felicitate Alexio Reginaldo Lawrence, IDC Commissioner, with Panada. Would like to hear a few words from you too. Honorable Governor, His Excellency, Mr. Pemeji. My friend and Honourable Minister, Mr. Mavan Gudino, the President and the ADC Chairman, Mr. Sanan Tanavde, uh, Mr. Narin Savaikar, the NRA Commissioner, all the distinguished guests on the stage, all my distinguished friends of the NRI. 
Association of Indo Arab Federation Council. Uh, distinguished friends, ladies and gentlemen, today, on this occasion, it's a pleasure to be here when the governor itself and the community of peace have decided to give him a have decided to give him a warm felicitation coming here all the way. He's a man that uh, who is uh, who was explained before saying that he's a multi faced The Kerala papers are 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 uh, promoting him as a multi faced personality. He really is. And I must say that uh, he has been, uh, I, I always have one small philosophy, I don't know how many people agree to it. Uh, it's not about being the best. It's about being the best, but being a little different. Some small philosophies I have, like, you know, when you do some work, you do it with love, and you just do it for the sake of you. So that bit of, little bit of extra is there with the government. And if you notice it, actions always are, uh, should be louder than words. And uh, I think he's a gentleman who can, uh, who we can learn from, who believes that action should be louder than words. So I, I've always, I've always been his admirer and uh, certainly would wish him all the best. And the community, I would also, I mean, and his community, I would also like to tell that we as Goans have a quite a lot of similarity as far as, uh, as far as your state is concerned. The state is very similar. One side we have the sea, one side we have the backwater. We also have the backwater, we also have the sea. It's quite similar. We are brownish in color, we are not uh, whites. So you have the same color. So there's a lot of different, there's a lot of similarity. But however, the ideas should be that we should uh, we should see that they overlap nicely and uh, nice environment is created. So as far as the uh, uh, IDC is concerned, coming back to the point, we are here to do a lot of work, whatever possible. All the issues that have been uh, there with the IDC, like how it is rightly pointed out that Kerala has some problem with investment. There was there was some issues as far as IDC two was concerned, but we have we have tackled we have taken a lot of trouble to see that the, all these areas have been touched. Once these areas are touched, it is a much better environment. Like I always say, uh, when I said that action should be louder than words. We have put those things into into practice. In fact, we also want to tell you that you are welcome to come here and invest. We uh, we would uh, not give you a complete red carpet, but we'll give you a green carpet at least. Don't worry. But one thing is sure, because we cannot have industry. Uh, I, I don't believe in giving too much of assurances and nothing comes out of it. But then. Uh, it is like this, we cannot afford to have industries which are um, highly polluting, we cannot have red industries, we cannot have certain things. So that way I said green, there should be no misconception or something else. Although I, I always I always firmly believe that the governor always has something to say which, which creates a small controversy. I go, why don't create a controversy? <laughs> Usually wherever he has gone, he has said something and it has culminated into a small controversy. <laughs> but it is his uh, it is his courage of conviction. It simply doesn't come in you to to, to say something which has got uh, which has got uh, so many uh, so much of uh, matter into it or which could lead into a controversy. It is that courage of conviction to speak out whatever is possible, whatever is right and whatever you think. Well uh, as far as other things are concerned in the IDC, we will, we will welcome you. We have uh, we have done uh, we have done successfully two three auctions also, which have culminated into good results. And uh, it has been uh, uh, my endeavour to see that uh, the IDC 
sorry, uh, sorry, my IDC runs, uh, which I was given charge to see that it runs smooth and it runs efficiently and in profit. Well, uh, with this, I would welcome you and I would congratulate the Indo Arab Confederation Council for for uh, for I mean, for kind enough to see that a doctorate is awarded to the Honorable Governor and uh, it is day and event to see and come to Goa as an investment hub also like could be able to see whether opportunity could be uh, some opportunities they could have to invest in Goa. Well, I, they also spoke of having uh, interaction with uh, the community which we will welcome. We welcome such uh, interaction. Uh, we on our part including uh, the industrial minister because we have decided uh, industrial minister as well as the chief minister we are all on the same page usually it is like there are differences between between each other but uh, i think we have made it a point to all be work towards having a better goal the honorable chief minister also has uh, has uh, started that ease of business policy in Goa, including the Industrial Minister, on which we have done some changes. We have streamlined a lot of processes. We have seen that uh, we have seen that a lot, lot many issues through that ease of business is been uh, is rightfully addressed, and the industry industry and the industrialists have no no sort of difference as far as work is concerned. Like for example, we have made so many systems which were online, which were online made offline into online packing. So we have done, we have significantly done progress and uh, next 3-4 uh, months you will see a lot of progress in the IDC. Uh, sorry, as far as, uh, as far as the main, main uh, work is concerned of online and other issues. We have streamlined a lot of processes and we will streamline much more. So with this, after welcoming you, uh, also telling that, also saying that we are we are welcome for an interaction on this issue also. And with that, again, wishing you all the best. Wishing your community also uh, all the success. Wishing them all the best too, along with uh, the governor and the people present. Uh, I mean, we who are present on the stage. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now I request Sri Atikumar Palikandi, sir, to felicitate Mohan Gorino, sir, Panchayat Minister, with gift. We would also like him to speak a few words. Honorable Governor of Goa, the most people friendly governor, Chief Sridharan Pilleji, the EDC Chairman, and also the, our party president, Sri Sadanand Thanavde, our NRI Commissioner, Narin Savekarji, also Mr. Bhupesh Babu, the Chairman of of uh, Indo-Arab Confederation Council, other regional to Lorenzo, my colleague and uh, chairman of uh, the IDC, which is very important of giving land for industry, other dignitaries of of the days as well as on the days, members of Indo-Arab Confederation Council, friends. It gives me great pleasure to be present with you for the launching of the Goa chapter of the indo arab Federation uh, Council. As you know, in Goa, there is no one that wouldn't welcome something good happening. And in that direction, 
I feel you are at a moment when things could happen for you or my lovely state of Goa. Recently, in the recent past, in fact, we have announced a new industrial policy wherein we have made things very transparent and fast. Land issues, allotment of land as to what is the procedure to be followed. Multiple processes was at one time a big problem. Today, we have a very simple industrial policy which was announced in 2022 wherein people can come and do business in Goa with ease as we all talk about ease of doing business which is actually happening in Goa. The other issue as far as our industry was concerned is the land issues. In the Industrial Development Corporation, where Regional is the chair, chairman, we are also trying to make things most transparent. In fact, recently, in the recent board meeting, very consciously we decided in the process of six months, everything will go online on your dashboard sitting in the office. You will be able to identify as to where land is available, what is the type of investment that can be made, what is the industry that can be welcomed, what is it that you can do to build the industrial profile of Goa. But while saying this, I want to make it very clear. We for one are welcoming only non-polluting industry. Though that industry which does not spoil our environment. We are very particular about this. I had the pleasure of going to various chambers of commerce in the entire country including Gujarat and Punjab and uh, Haryana and Delhi and various other, various other places where we were also connected online, we interacted. But we have a whole beeline of industry coming, but we are very choosy, I want to tell you. And here you are wanting to do something in Goa and why not? As you know, as pointed out by my friend, we have so many familiarities. Not only your coastline, but as you know, Rafish and uh, Kavi, as you say, Meena, is your favorite. You cannot do without it. Just as Goan cannot do without fish. And similarly, for various things that happen, I want to say that your investments would be welcome here. Why not invest in Goa when it is the most virgin place for the best investment? Something in entertainment. As far as the entertainment industry is concerned, like studios, like uh, make, converting it into a film city where film sets are there, people from Hollywood, Tollywood, uh, your Bollywood would flock here for the shooting, for the locales. Who doesn't like to come to Goa? Please tell me. Everybody wants to come to Goa. In fact, in fact it has been like revenge tourism. We were afraid at one point of time if a second airport opens in Goa, what will happen to the prevailing airport? I want to inform you that not only are we getting more flights in Dabuli, where I am the MLA hailing from, we are getting more and more flights from Mopa coming. That means that many people are coming to Goa, both for investment, for pleasure, for tourism, all sorts of activities. And you should also con consider Goa as an investment destination. If I may say so, Goa are the days when people were struggling as NRIs, as was rightly pointed out here, barely making their living. Today, our Indians have started to control the economies, the business activity, the industrial activity in other countries. Even in advanced countries like America, even in advanced countries like UK, it is our NRIs, our diaspora, which is controlling even the polity there. And that's how you have a Kamala Harris as the VP of the United States of America. When we are moving on, when our Honorable Prime Minister is making efforts to see that we become world leaders, not only politically or our opinion being counted, but in terms of industry, in terms of the ecosystem, in terms of protecting the environment, in terms of taking steps that are necessary in various international forums where we are leaders to sort of protect the global warming from us being saved from global warming. Every sphere we are moving forward. And when we are moving forward in that direction, what are we today? 
we are just a small global village with the interconnectivity that is there with the internet age with the information age we have moved so far away why not take benefits and why not take benefits in goa we for one as i said are moving from strength to strength with the progress that we see today which was never there before you must yourself have experience who have come years ago and have come now the lovely bridge across the river zuari the third bridge which those of you who have come after a long time patel setu bridge all conceived by the cooperation as we call it the double engine of the local government led by led by dr pramod sawant and honorable prime minister naren modi ji a typical example what a double engine can really do for the progress of a state for its people with inclusive schemes with newer and newer things happening we always strive to be the best and i want to say in that in this direction we have not failed to get the best awards even from uh, organizations or institutions like india today which is the most prestigious institution giving awards from our smaller states we always back we always back the maximum awards not to talk of other foreign awarding us but we really want to be the best and in this direction why we strive to be the best i think we also have one of the best governors that one can strive to have it is our good luck that uh, we have a people friendly governor who mixes among the people who goes to the nook and corner of goa which also sometimes propels those particular individuals whether they are in the panchayats or whether they are in the municipalities or we in the legislatures to do our best because he is also always like a pressure group someone who means well for the state of goa a holding a good constitutional authority and we look at him with great awe and respect because that is the contribution of his as far as our uh, number one uh, head in goa so what i want to simply say is here you are having an opportunity make use of the opportunity come invest in goa invest in friendly industries make goa's economy grow be, be partners in the growth as it is your community has done a lot in goa i have so many friends right from my i should say childhood age and they, they, the numbers are only increasing because they feel comfortable by calling goa their home and why not and uh, similarly we have people from all other states as well we have never distinguished so therefore i would expect you to come and make your contribution uh, as far as getting good industries for goa is concerned contributing whatever you can to protect uh, ultimately yourself your culture as well as mixing mingling and in, by intermingling assimilating yourself also in the goan culture that is what is required when in rome be a roman when in goa be a goan that should be the mantra i think with that i wish this organization all the very best and i am sure you will contribute your might and uh, help to make goa really number one in the entire country thank you very much thank you sir next we are moving to our magazine launching i invite uh, panchayat and transport minister shri movin uh, godino to launch our magazine malaya vanijyam hello to rajan kedayadi chairman texas group of company also people's review special supplement sir, has been published sir yamka regional sir regional sir she is a donor to bhupesh babu
now, People's Review Special Supplement has been launched by Shri Sadanand Shetanavde to Bhupesh Babu sir. Received by Bhupesh Babu sir. It's time for the most awaiting moment of award ceremony. I request our respected governor, Shripriya Sridhar Pillai to honor them with the awards. First, so, Shri N.P. Jaw, Chairman Pavinam Rice. Brother Excellency Award. Mr. N. P. George is an industrialist by profession and a Business Achievement Award. CPV Sitter is residing in Halifax with his wife in Chichibay City, he is the sixth doctor. He is the managing director of Emirates Steel Tubes to Private Limited in Halifax, Alapura. Also, he is the director of Accord Pro Properties Private Limited and managing partner of Niranai Food Industries at Chamberlain Shimi. 
Next, Sri Raju Nambiar for social commitment. Sri Raju Nambiar sir is a BJP South Indian Cell Convener and President of Kerala Kala Kendram and President of Ayyappa Kembal Madaga. Sri Raju Nambiar, born in Kannur, district of Kerala, now is residing in Goa with his wife and two children. He is a businessman who started his career in Goa since more than 25 years. Currently, he is the director of Solar Private Limited Company and he is also doing consultancy work in the field. Previously, he has done many projects in PWD, WIB, Industrial Department as well as in private sector. He is associated with many social cultural associations. Next, Dr. Nasser Manu. He is a prominent social worker awarded as the James Sir Award. He is an industrialist by profession and a after learning the greatness of philanthropy. From his parents, he became active in the field of social servicing since 1995. In his own village, in his own village, he took a stand against users and uh, started an interest-free loan scheme of lakhs from his own investment, and then became the very helpful to the common man people. I request all the bodies to come onto the stage for photography. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, sir, for felicitating our awardees. Now, I request. Now I request Sri M. D. Kunyamu to give the gift to our Honorable Governor Sri Sri Dhan Pilesar.
I am born and brought up in Nalapi district. And uh, my low studentship owned ways. I was in uh, Calicut. Like me, his connection, he is staying in Calicut and uh, his activities is uh, Emirates Steel and other German Emirates Steel. His business activities are in Nalapi. So, I really congratulate him and uh, his family is also here. Behind the success, we have a valuable contribution also. I am highlighting here. And Raju Nubhya is concerned. You don't know how. I would like, I would uh, depict him before you. Is your wife is not here? Searching for a bike. <laughs> and uh, he's the best public worker. Whenever something is required for Rajwan also, immediately I am contacting him. And uh, I don't know whether it is proper on my part to say an aspect. Recently, there are five gardens in Rajapur. All the five gardens are in the name of our honorable Prime Minister. During his birthday, he started it. And one is Bonsai Garden. And Bonsai Garden, we are given a name. While I was of my village to one Sanskrit Pandit expressed his idea, then we found that Rajabhavan, not only me, my secretary and others found that this is originated from India. Actually, bonsai is a name originated from Japan. And, uh, the leading exporter of bonsai, of course, China, they are the beneficiaries. But actually, it is originated from India. And in our Bharata Varsha, about 5,000 years back, in Ayurveda, this type of, uh, it is called, uh, it is an art. Kala, kala. So, you see, the first event, we all know small. Vaman means small. Then, Bracha means non languages, Indian languages. Tree. Small tree, and its production was considered by our ancient forefathers, especially in the Ayurveda field as an arch. So, it was gra gradually through Buddhist people came to China and then thereafter to Japan. But about 400 years, year, during the last 400 years, Japan is claiming that bonsai is their own concept and other things. So, an academic issue, I am not going to the details. Anyway, in the presence of our, my friend, Honorable Minister, I would like to say our garden will become the best, best garden as far well as bonsai concerned and tourists will come to see that. And Ministry also giving special fund for collecting that and thankful to the government as well. So I am coming to the point. Then we want some art, a board. I am not saying anything for one board quotation given by a reported contractor, 6 lakhs rupees per board, per, per arch. Altogether 5 is required. Radhiko has no fun. 
say these people government is the <laughs> Then I opened it and I stated that no 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 I am not. Then I contacted him. And uh, all the all the details were given. No 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 one or two two three questions presented their Minimum, I, I not, that is uh, not proper on my part to disclose all these things. Anyway, 65,000 each for one gate and uh, they are going to do that. So these types of initiatives I am, because I am a product of Jay Pradash Maran movement in 1975. I was such a convener of that agitation. Why that agitation was there? Why Jay Pradash Maran was in jail? And after the 1977 election, all are requested him to become the Prime Minister of India. Yamagasa told, I, I want to serve the people. I don't want any power. Such a revolution and other things still in my mind. And that is why 6 lakhs of people uh, recruited to Same items, <coughs> specifications also same. Only 65,000 people. <coughs> How things are going on? Much pain, and uh, that is why he helped me that way. And I am extending my sincere thanks to him. And Nasser is concerned also, Nasser Hill Malapuram district, and uh, his dedication to the country and uh, especially to Kerala is also worth and I encourage it him also. So all the Indoor Association is concerned. Your attempt is work for the nation and uh, I am not uh, talking much but it will be that a place for the Bali. Bali is a part of our ancient concept. Indonesia is also Gerida Airlines is there, Kubera Bank is there, Padali Putra Bali, Nagaras are there, and even the currency, there is Ganesha, was there, about 10 years back, it was there, that copy is with me. And that is the only country, 92% people are committed to, they are following. Eka day one one God that's Allah Allah alone. But at the same time, the commitment to the culture, tradition, that's highlighted. That is why Indonesia is the only one country in the world government officially celebrating and observing Ramayana Mela in the world. This is a basic concept. Mine and uh, I'm not mentioning Sadarki and so many persons, our ideological commitment is related to that. We are not against anybody. We are strong belief in uh, some religious concept, power concept, etc. etc. But not anti Muslim, not anti Christian. We respect everybody. That is a tradition of our country. And that is why Indian Prime Minister. When the entire world, G20 countries bestowed the presidentship to India, of course, first time in the history, the world submitted to the world, the world submitted to the world by our Prime Minister, one earth, one family, and one development, one progress. So this is a basic concept of our country, Vasudeva Kudumbakam. We are not against anybody in the world. None of the Indian rulers ever tried in their life, go to the other countries, adapt them and uh, annex them to our country. This is the greatest thing we can say. And at the same time I would like to say, finally, experts are also here. About two weeks back, our Prime Minister convened the meeting of young states, especially students. Then he advised them, given three slogans, 
according to him, it is mantras. Three mantras are there for the success for the country and success of the of the students. What was the what 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 were the mantras? What are the mantras? You see, first mantra, hard work. Then the second mantra also, hard work. And finally, the third mantra given to our people by our wonderful Prime Minister is hard work. So work hard and our Goa is concerned. Loving people are there. Beautiful environmental and uh, traditional approach by the people and uh, every chance to come up more and more and I am requesting Pallikandi is in front of me you spread your work here also and uh, Indo-Arab traditionally if you go through the history Arab people came to India through Kodundalu no weapon they are used only through love and affection, they attracted the people of Kerala to Muslim community. Same thing in Kodungalu, George is very eager to look at the be that your Catholic Church also in Kodungalu, free of cost, the Raja gave everything, every facility, and that is why Islam in Kerala and this Christianity in Kerala developed. Now your community, Siro Malabar Sabha, Catholic community, their strength is 50 lakhs. That 50 lakhs, their strength is there. That is the largest Catholic denomination in Asia. So you got from Goa. Baba is asked for its own history. I am not going to that aspect. Anyway, today, of course, uh, uh, earlier I received, but I never used uh, this doctor. I want to be a, an advocate. Still, my mind is for that. So, doctor, I am not, uh, I don't want to uh, known as a doctor. And today, I don't know whether it is proper on my part. You are head of the Sabha, Alajeri. Telephone to me and ask me, this is an institution connected to Christianity and other things. They are bestowing you a doctrine. You accept it. And that is why today I am accepting it. I am not interested in any mistakes so of honor degrees. But uh, since without, the old even without, the end of the cardinal asking to accept it and the cardinal here also participating in that function a small function I, I, uh, they proposed a function in Kerala I told them I am not coming for that function here only Rajavan they are coming and leaving it and I am accepting it no function is there as such ok thank you very much I extend my sincere thank to all of you Jai Hind Thank you, Sweet P.S. Sridharan Pillai Sar. Now I request uh, Swami Rajan Ereadi Sir to hand over the IC, I, I, IACC NRI Township brochure to Sri Governor Sir.
Now I request Sri Koyati Maliyakal to deliver vote of thanks. I would like to request to 